Apple Pie, Wikipedia article audio. An apple pie is a pie or a tart, in which the principal filling ingredient is apple. It is, on occasion, served with whipped cream or ice cream on top, or alongside cheddar cheese. The pastry is generally used top and bottom, making it a double crust pie. The upper crust may be a circular or a pastry lattice woven of crosswise strips. Depending on the baker's preference, the bottom of the double crust may be baked first to prevent the bottom from getting soggy. Exceptions are deep dish apple pie, with the top crust only, and open face tart taten. The apple pie is one of the United States signature comfort foods. Apple pie can be made with all sorts of different apples. The more popular cooking apples include, Braeburn, Gala, Cortland, Bramley, Empire, Northern Spy, Granny Smith, and Macintosh. The fruit for the pie can be fresh, canned, or reconstituted from dried apples. These different types of apples affects the final texture and the length of cooking time required will vary, therefore people disagree on if it affects the flavor or not. Dried or preserved apples were originally substituted only at times when fresh fruit was unavailable. Along with the apples people commonly use, cinnamon, salt, butter, and most importantly sugar. Though most of the old recipes don't include sugar due to the price or having a better sweetener option, most people definitely use it today. Apple pie is often served in the style of a la mode. Alternatively, a piece of cheese is, at times, placed on top of or alongside a slice of the finished pie. Ingredients Dutch style Recipes for Dutch apple pie go back to the Middle Ages. An early Dutch cookbook from 1514, in Notabel Boekskin van Kook Ryan, documents a recipe for a pel tarten. This early recipe was a simple one, requiring only a standard pie crust, slices of especially soft apples with their skin and seeds removed and den selven deeg der die tert af gemeekt es is made of to fill in the top. It was then baked in a typical Dutch oven. Once baked, the top crust would be cut out from the middle, after which the apple slices were potentially put through a sieve before the pie was stirred with a wooden spoon. At this point the book recommends adding several spices to the pie, namely, cardamom, ginger, cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, mace, and powdered sugar. Finally, after mixing the ingredients into the pie with cream, it is once again put into the oven to dry. Traditional Dutch apple pie comes in two varieties, a crumb and a lattice-style pie. Both recipes are distinct in that they typically call for flavorings of cinnamon and lemon juice to be added and differ in texture, not taste. Dutch apple pies may include ingredients such as full cream butter, raisins, and almond paste, in addition to ingredients such as apples and sugar, which they have in common with other recipes. The basis of Dutch apple pie is a crust on the bottom and around the edges. This crust is then filled with pieces or slices of apple, usually a crisp and mildly tart variety such as Goudrainet or Elstar. Cinnamon and sugar are generally mixed in with the apple filling. Atop the filling, strands of dough cover the pie in a lattice holding the filling in place but keeping it visible or cover the pie with crumbs. It can be eaten warm or cold sometimes with a dash of whipped cream or vanilla ice cream. In the U.S., Dutch apple pie refers specifically to the apple pie style with a crumb, streusel, topping. English apple pie recipes go back to the time of Chaucer. 
The 1381 recipe lists the ingredients as good apples, good spices, figs, raisins, and pears. The coffin of the recipe is a casing of pastry. Saffron is used for coloring the pie filling. In English-speaking countries, apple pie is a dessert of enduring popularity, whether it's eaten hot or cold, on its own or with ice cream, double cream, or custard. English style French style apple pie is very different compared to the American version of the sweet dessert. Instead of it being right side up with crust on top and bottom, it actually is upside down, with the fruit being caramelized. This can be made not only with apples but other fruits or vegetables as well, for example, pears or tomatoes. See Tart Taten. The Swedish style apple pie is predominantly a variety of apple crumble, rather than a traditional pastry pie. Often, bread crumbs are used instead of flour, and sometimes rolled oats. It is usually flavored with cinnamon and served with vanilla custard or ice cream. There is also a very popular version called apple cake, which differs from the pie in that it is a sponge cake baked with fresh apple pieces in it. French style Apple pie was brought to the colonies by the British, Dutch, and Swedes during the 17th and 18th centuries. The apple pie had to wait for the planting of European varieties, brought across the Atlantic, to become fruit-bearing apple trees, to be selected for their cooking qualities as there were no native apples except crab apples, which yield very small and sour fruit. In the meantime, the colonists were more likely to make their pies, or pasties, from meat, calling them coffins rather than fruit, and the main use for apples, once they were available, was in cider. However, there are American apple pie recipes, both manuscript and printed, from the 18th century, and it has since become a very popular dessert. Apple varieties are usually propagated by grafting, as clones, but in the New World, planting from seeds was more popular, which quickly led to the development of hundreds of new native varieties. Apple pie was a common food in 18th century Delaware. As noted by the New Sweden historian Dr. Israel Akerlius in a letter, apple pie is used throughout the whole year and when fresh apples are no longer to be had, dried ones are used. It is the evening meal of children. The mock apple pie, made from crackers, was probably invented for use aboard ships, as it was known to the British Navy as early as 1812. The earliest known published recipes for mock apple pie date from the antebellum period of the 1850s. In the 1930s, and for many years afterwards, Ritz Crackers promoted a recipe for mock apple pie using its product, along with sugar and various spices. Swedish Style Although apple pies have been eaten since long before the European colonization of the Americas, as American as apple pie is a saying in the United States, meaning typically American. In the 19th and 20th centuries, apple pie became a symbol of American prosperity and national pride. A newspaper article published in 1902 declared that no pie-eating people can be permanently vanquished. The dish was also commemorated in the phrase for mom and apple pie, supposedly the stock answer of American soldiers in World War II whenever journalists asked why they were going to war. Jack Holden and Francis K. sang in their patriotic 1950 song The Fiery Bear, creating contrast between this symbol of U.S. culture and the Russian bear of the Soviet Union. In American Culture 
Advertisers exploited the patriotic connection in the 1970s with the commercial jingle baseball, hot dogs, apple pie, and Chevrolet. Modern American recipes for apple pie usually indicate a confection that is 9 inches in diameter in a fluted pie plate, with an apple filling spiced with cinnamon, nutmeg, and lemon juice, and it may or may not have a lattice or shapes cut out of the top for decoration. One out of five Americans surveyed prefer apple pie over all others, followed by pumpkin and pecan. The unincorporated community of Pie Town, New Mexico is named after apple pie.